Hello, I'm Richard Voves, the Board Explorer, and this is the lovely Julia. Hello, Julia. Hello. How you doing? Not too bad, thank you. It's bracing, isn't it? It is a bit bracing, <laughs> although we've been standing out here for a little while. I'm more acclimatised to it now. I have got my gloves on, I'm holding onto the sure. microphone, and we're wrapped up. We've got some soup in a um, thermos? thermos, that's the word. And we're going to go for a stroll along the seafront here in where, Wide West Water Lagoon. Wide Water Lagoon, which is what West Lansing, East Lansing, East Lansing. East Lansing. Not that we call it that. It's just Lansing. Lansing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so we're down at Wide Water Lagoon, uh, which is very near where you live. Yes. Yeah. And um, I'm in your bubble. Yes, and you're in my bubble. Yeah. So um, I'll step out of it. <laughs> so we're all right to meet. Now this is. Oh look, there's a swan coming here. Look at this. This is amazing. I don't know how much of that you saw. because That I, was fantastic. <laughs> I'm filming on my GoPro t uh, this time, just mm. for ease, really. Um, it's the first day of our official third lockdown now. I thought that the lockdown had already started, but they've only just voted it in. So anyway, we're going to take a little stroll um, along this area. Now, of course, I will be coming back this way probably in about a year's time, Julia. Yes. On my Sussex border walk. Yes, when you've uh, completed most of it and come back to meet yourself. Yeah. Uh, hopefully by then we'll see the new bridge. A <laughs> new bridge? For the disability and pram access. To, and where uh, is White that Water going Lagoon. then? It will be where the old bridge used to be, just down there. So, right. Um, so there's a, just so that people know who don't know any of the area, yeah. that you should explain. They're opposite the Broadway entrance right there's a um there was stairs and they're going to make a ramp and some stairs it's a it's, it's going to be so much better for the area oh good thank you so there we are it's a bit of local news if you're in the area <laughs> so we're going to go up to the seafront and walk along a bit that we because we've walked along here before haven't we we have yes but we're going to do a slightly different thing we're going to go um never eat shredded wheat we're going that way in west, west. <laughs> yeah sign up ahead Julia mm. that says Eastern Sands. Yes it's a lovely little static caravan park. Yeah now when I was a, a kid it used to come down here I th I'm sure it was called White Sands um, or is that further I along? I think because there are several here there's this one there's one down at West Beach and then I think there's there's another one further up there. Ah oh so right. That could be White Sands. Oh okay. But it's quite, it's uh, very popular, isn't it, to have the static caravans down here? Yeah, yeah. As, well, for as long as I've lived here, um, it's, you know, been, it's definitely been a part of the uh, long-term history of Lansing. Yeah. And, and actually, that's, I mean, all along here has been that whole business of people first coming down in old railway carriages. That's right, and setting up little homes with them and then eventually building a house around them. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and I mean, that's true down in Pagham and over at uh, Shoreham. Shoreham Beach. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, it's, and even in Goring, I think they were doing that, which is quite amazing. So, although. It's resourceful, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, static caravans are sort of a throwback to those days, really. Yeah, in many ways, I think. And of course, great holiday homes. Absolutely. And uh, bolt holes, perhaps, if you're trying to hide from members of the family who've got some dreadful virus. <laughs> which apparently is going round. Anybody know anything about that? So we're going to carry on. We've got the sea just over in front of us. Should we go and have a quick look at the sea? Yeah. It's very calm. It's blinding at the it moment. It is blinding. Well, the sun's blinding, not the sea. Well... I'm being pedantic. It's reflecting off the sea. Well, it's very, very beautiful down here today. Mm. The sea is just so calm. I can't get over how calm it is. Yeah, it was like a mill pond at first, wasn't it? Yeah. It's well, a little it's, bit more active now. But it's still like a mill pond. I mean, yeah. you know, it's obviously the, the waves lap. We're just looking at the um, pebbles on the beach. We've got a viewer to the Vogue show, my sister um, programme on YouTube, called um, Nootka Sea Glass. Yes who goes around the beaches in Norfolk picking up sea glass. Bits of sea glass that have been, well, bits of glass that have been processed by the sea and weathered down. 
over decades and sometimes hundreds of years. So just explain what the glass, where does the glass come from? Well, the glass comes from human activity and... Uh, you, know. you mean as in bottles? Yes. Yes. Bottles and jars and, and well, anything that that's found we make its with way. Glass. Yeah. yeah. So the and so these bottles and things they found their way into the sea, mm -hmm. and then as you say, been over. broken down and then been worn down into really smooth pieces of uh, fascination. I used to right. collect them when I was a kid. Um, I haven't seen many around on the southern coasts. Well, on this stretch. between here and Hampshire for a long time. But Portsmouth used to be full of it. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. So do you think that that's because the more ships going from Portsmouth area, so stuff it's, was going to be... It stands to reason. I mean, Portsmouth is very touristic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, it so glass be. will be thrown off the boat and um, yachts and things. Whereas here, I mean, apart from over at Brighton, where there's a marina, you don't get very many boats, certainly not inshore. No, no. So, oh, shall we just have a little bit of wander along? Yeah. As it's so beautiful. We're back on the beach. Uh, sorry, we're back on the prom, and uh, we're going to have a look at the beach huts. I really like it when they're individually painted and decorated, so they they all have a slight quirkiness to them. I mean, you know, I wouldn't turn down a beach hut if it was a part of a, a long line of identically decorated ones, but I just think they're so much nicer when they are indeed individual and unique. Lovely, some beautiful colours here. We've got blue, yellow, different shades blue, teal and purple. Mm, fantastic. behind these lovely coloured beach huts yes. as we've gone further west. west. Why do I always struggle with my east and west? But anyway, um, the static caravans here now have become a lot posher, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, they're a little bit bigger and uh, yeah, a little bit more, well, they've got decking and lovely. More expensive. <laughs> yes, more expensive. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, um, it's a I believe it's a different, it's a different um, park different to the one park, just yeah, up there, absolutely. right next to each other. Um, I don't know if this one's called White Sands. I don't know. No, because I, I, I think the um, I'm all but all Beach Park. Because I'm not sure if it's just the beach huts that are called Beach Park. Right. I don't know. No, you only live here. I only, yeah, yeah, but I've only lived here what six years. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Why would you know in that six years? Goodness. Um, but then after these this series of beach huts, we come to Beach Green. Yes. And Beach Green, you know quite well because there's the Perch, yep, there's which the is perch, a which restaurant is... type yes, cafe. Yes. yes. Yeah, very, I remember that when it was a green shack. Yeah. It was a shed, that um, a glorified shed really, um, quite a large one, a little cafe mm. with your kiss me quick hats. Well, I've, I'm sure I've seen photographs and heard stories of an old cottage that used to be there, or bungalow type cottage or something, and that was the Mermaid Cafe. For, oh, for right. many, many, many years. Ah, yeah. Um, that's... And I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people have lots of fond memories of that. Yeah. But the you... perch now sits in its place. So if you do remember the mermaid, now you've said that, it suddenly brings back memories to me because my mum used to have a friend when I lived in Horsham who lived in Lansing and we would go down to see them and we would go to that shack, yeah. what I always thought as a glorified shed, but now you say it's a mermaid cafe, that comes back. So let's go over there and have a look and see what it's like now. Let's go. Do 
Julia has brought me down before we go to the perch to have a look at this concrete block. So mm. this is no ordinary concrete block. I was going to say, block. don't you feel special? Actually, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It is no ordinary concrete block. It's only one of many which are still underneath Beach Green. They were placed here, they were affectionately called, affectionately called, dragon's teeth. But they were here to um, defend against a, p a potential invasion back in World War II. Ah yes, because of course we were very fearful that the Germans would land. And uh, yeah, come, come in this way. So, so these are sort of anti-tank, anti-landing yeah, vehicles. These, these were put in many of the, uh, the southern seaside resorts for this reason, but they never actually got removed from Beach Green. Where and actually they they're, they're still under the grass. Oh. Look, it's been built up and up because they keep you know, putting more on, yes. uh, more earth and things on to uh, build it up. So and I don't underneath. know where, you couldn't, now, you couldn't tell now. No, maybe on the bank there, just in front of the beach house. Interestingly, perhaps in the summer, in a drought, um, where, where patches of grass might die, you might be able to see from above where they could be, yeah. but I don't know. Hmm. We've made our way up onto uh, what looks like a, just a slight embankment of some yeah, sort, yeah embankment with weeds and all sorts of things very different from the rest of beach green which is very flat yes <laughs> but that's because this i believe to be the air raid shelter that was um that just rediscovered in relatively recent years um there was some talk about turning it into some sort of uh, tourist attraction or um um like museum, a museum piece, piece type yeah. thing but nothing's really come of it and particularly not at the moment so so we're just south of the perch which is this cafe restaurant or place north even. or what north even oh yeah sorry we're north of it i suppose we would be in the it, sea <laughs> yes we're not south of it that, that's right see i told you compass points no good and um, so we're almost directly uh, north of that just south of the coast road yes and here it is next to the car wash place and um, if I come back, you'll probably see a bit more of it. And actually, some time ago, a couple of years ago, I think, somebody came forward and said that they would um, ask the council to see if they could get permission for me and them to go down and film in there. So if you are still watching uh, my stuff, it'd be lovely to do that, perhaps, you know, after COVID and when social distancing is no longer a thing, to go down into the air raid shelter. It would but, be yeah. cool. It would be cool. However, we're going to go up to the perch now and just have a look at that and then find somewhere for soup. Yes. Because then about you, I'm, I'm getting starving. hungry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> mm. Well, the um, perch is behind us, just up there behind us. We've come down to the rocks and we're going to have our soup now. And um, We've got some pork pies, well, bacon and cheese, actually, and some bread. Yummy. So, yeah, we're going to try and get through the lockdown as best we can. We may have to um, do some of the pathways and walks that we've done before to stay relatively local. Yep. But where we can get out, we will. Yep. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Yes. Thank you very much for letting me join you. That's my pleasure. We haven't had you on the screen on the Bald Explorer for a while. No, it's been a bit awkward, hasn't it, lately? Yeah, but. it's just been a bit crap, but we're doing the best we can. Anyway, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what we do, all the usual, and we'll see you on another video very soon. Yeah. Cheers, Bye. Julia. Take care, guys. Enjoy the soup. I hope it's still warm. Mine's on yeah. the floor because I'm still holding a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> but hey-ho, see you next time. Stay safe. Bye, bye.